guys, this is Alessandro, welcome back to my channel. So if you remember last video, we take a look at this video reference and we study together, we analyze it, the main key poses and everything. And what I thought about would have been nice as an experiment to try together to do work fully on the animation, this time no cutting, no editing. You're going to see me exactly from the beginning until the very end, right? And mostly what I wanted to show you guys, the kind of the speed how long should it take you to animate something like this, especially, you know, you guys are really take care of uh, the, the quality, you know, the polish and stuff like that to make it really good, right? Um, I'm expecting it should be more three, four hours, maybe. And so this first video is going to show, as usual, only the blocking, the main, blo main blocking, then we'll do blocking plus, spline until the, the final polish. Okay, guys, uh, I hope you will enjoy this tutorial. And as usual, if you have any questions, let me know. I already did the first post. That's the only thing I did it. Uh, nothing too complicated. All right, guys. So we can start right away and go with the next poses. Um, so what we're gonna do at this point, as you can see, I'm gonna take a look at the uh, the overall movement of the uh, of the body, right? And so uh, I know it's gonna move in this way. And the other things I wanna do now, it's definitely adjusting the uh, the foot, all right? Because basically, what I want is want I wanted to. You know twist this one because there is no easy way to do this i'm gonna just realign very quickly uh okay just making sure this this position gets aligned all right and i want to make sure the weight is going here okay and started to push again the weight this direction i want to see maybe sometimes i you can really get the the straight line as you want right but what we can do is is faking a straight line, having the 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 you know the the knee in front of the camera, so kind of look like a straight line, okay? And, and maybe from here as well, we can push a little bit more behind. See, now it feels more uh, locked. And definitely, as you know, if you follow my channel, guys, I like to uh, reset all this controller. Right, anytime I need to adjust the spine and stuff like that. Okay, so I think it's a lot easier, a lot more efficient here to do uh, this, right? Right, so I think this is gonna be, and again, I wanna take a look at this, right? Maybe a little bit higher. Right, and this one you can rotate just a little bit more. Okay, nothing too extreme. And so what we're gonna do now is start to adjust in this one. Okay, I want to see the movement here. It looks like it's going. The this end is going a little bit higher, pushing here, and adjusting the this word in this position right in fact guys as you can see uh, this hand okay it's more or less gonna drop it in this position right so right I can I think adjust it at this point. So for now, what I'm gonna do also, I wanna make sure it's uh, uh, okay. Maybe we can push it. We can push this to a little bit more inside. This one we can twist it, okay, and adjust a little bit more the line of action. All right. So it's not that we need to do any crazy uh, stuff. We wanna tilt it this way. So you want to have a nice, clean uh, line of action here. And we want to see this elbow over here. So you go in this direction. It looks like that this can be a little bit higher. Okay. Need to push this one a bit more. Right. And this one, it feels like to me also could be a little bit lower. Okay. And this one, instead, we're going to adjust the shoulder. I see like we want the shoulder to be really, really high. Okay. We are trying to look this kind of 
uh, position all right to keep it really nice and dynamic all right and so we can go even a bit closer first of all this one we can push it a bit here more inside and and take a look at the right see so this one we can twist it more like this Right. See, we want to have this kind of line of action like this. This one. And again, we need to now, and this is always a bit tricky when we do stuff like that. Right. It's important that we, we do it the right way. Okay, and uh, first of all, we can also adjust in this one so it doesn't go as much inside too much. All right. And as you can see, we need, the important thing is that we we ban this this controller this direction. Right. This is the part that really it's gonna be. Right. Now that I already started to bend this a little bit more. Okay. So we can have a better idea of how we're supposed to place the hand. Right. Don't feel like this. And the thumb here will be around this area. Okay. So we can see we can push a bit more. Right. And I'm not gonna completely fix now the um the things. Uh just wanna see more or less what needs to be done. All right, and see if we need to push this one. One, two, three. Reset also this one at this stage. All right. Very, very quickly. And, and same here. We can reduce a little bit this angle. Okay, so we can go a little bit closer. More or less. Now we can go here and right. I think we, we are getting that more or less. Okay, maybe this one we can adjust it a little bit. Okay, to make it this. A little bit having a bit of offset, of right? Then maybe readjusting the torso twist, okay? And and this one really looking down, okay? Just pushing this, right? Make it really nice and and dynamic. Boom, right? We're gonna cancel this key here and create another one, right? And so okay, this one now started to twist a little bit more, and the body here will 
it started to again as usual first of all guys i'm gonna reset all those stuff very quickly Well, I know this guy, this video is going to be uh, a little bit longer, but uh, you know, that's the test I want to do about it and see what people think. Okay, in this case, it did, the knee can, can kind of lead in this direction, right? The movement is continuing to go this direction now. Okay, still continue to push here. Here we can remove the foot throw and everything. All right. Roll, okay, a little bit more here. And then here is gonna raise very quickly. All right, so again, see the, the, the balance of the body needs to be more like this, all right? So on, the, on this leg, okay, at least in, the, in this transition moment. And so again, here, we can adjust the line of action Right, we want to have a nice and clean uh, line of action, right? And obviously what we want, we want to put this here. Right, we want to make sure, maybe for now, let's see if we need to reset this one. Uh, once we do this fast movement, right? So see, we wanna have, have the uh, this one over here, right? So the difficult part about this one is that what we want, we want these are going. up in a straight line okay, basically we want a straight line like this right <coughs> so it needs to be really higher all right here we want the elbow going this direction and we want to make sure this is kind of here maybe we need to adjust a little bit the line of action in this way as well bend it a little bit this way to make it a bit more organic right raising the shoulder this one it needs to be like this you have to imagine an imaginary line between these two right we want to kind of imagine this uh, He has to go straight out like this. Because then it's, it's coming out, right? You see? So you you want to have this as a reference. Because it's important that this movement is coming out really straight. Boom. Right? So this part. For now, we're gonna, I'm going to line it like this. I'm going to show you later what I'm going to do with this word. Right? Okay, we can just close this part a bit more. Okay, 
You see, this elbow doesn't look that nice anymore, so we need to kind of bend it and find a nice angle that it, it looks good. And it doesn't look too broken. Maybe we need to push this a little bit more this direction to keep the line of action like this and maybe here yeah, it's, it's moving forward so maybe we need to push this forward a bit more okay to create a very nice clean line of action see what i'm trying to do I'm trying to look this angle here uh okay it's pushing forward right Head is kind of looking up this way, right? Here, uh, it looks is a lot that is a lot better. Right, feels a lot more organic at this stage. Save as usual, and so from here we go to this moment. Again, we're gonna uh, delete this key. Again, we're gonna take a look at the, what's going on with the feet. Okay, so the feet it look like it's uh, shifting this way. reduce the foot roll right this other foot is going to go this direction and also here rotating this way rotating no I see like it's it's continuing to go up I mean this is like the almost the highest point right so we want to make sure we go continue to go up here. Again, we're gonna okay, reset all this. Overall, I want this one to be right. Now, this one we're gonna change now very, very soon. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do because I don't wanna use. Uh, um, I can anymore for this armor. I want to switch to FK, and so what I'm gonna do it's right, maybe here we can revert it to zero, okay, and I'm gonna show you later. I'm gonna uh, Manage and when I would do blocking plus the uh, IK FK switch, right? Making sure that can be really done easily. And this one is to be a little bit more natural. This one we can show you later what I'm gonna do with this. Now, what I want to do this one and here. Now we're continuing to bring this closer to the body. Right, and I think this is the is the knee, sorry, the elbow, right? And so this is started to be more like this now at this stage. So this can be a bit more extended. All right, we can kill this one. I think this is going to be a more natural. Um, okay, so we see keep it kind of this way, and we want to. Here, have a bit of line of action forward, 
Okay. We push it this way and again here this leg we want to make sure it feels like as straight as possible all right here let's see we can keep leaning with the uh the knee inside at like this direction okay want to make it dynamic and nice all right And obviously, let's go and take a look that um, the weight needs to. St now we'll start, I think, to go back uh, a bit behind. All right, but in the meantime, I think we can still push it a bit more forward. All right, and now what I'm gonna do with the with this other one? This one I don't need it anymore. Okay, I don't want this anymore. Basically, I'm, I'm switching model. Right, and what I'm gonna do with this one? here and parent it right? so it's always gonna remain attached you can go here more or less Right. And then again, uh, now I can go and adjust this a little bit more. Okay. Ah, by the way, let's parent this one to uh, this one. Uh, it shouldn't give any 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 problem. Again, guys, even I, I take the habit that even if these things may be not, might not be very visible, you know, the finger penetration and stuff like that, uh, I just like to take the habit to do everything uh, uh, perfect, you know, uh, just in case, you know, it's just as a good habit, you know, when, when you animate, you know, you never know if you're gonna, guys, you're gonna work in games, feature film, or everything, and, you know, if you're working feature film, or TV series, or whatever, you know, if things doesn't, it's not visible from the camera angle, you, you're fine, right? But in games, you know, uh, people can pause your game, can move the camera and everything. So you want to make sure uh, everything go looks as good as possible, all right? Here, now that we've done this, um, let's see, we want to have it slightly up. Maybe this one for now, slightly this direction, okay? Managing this right now, set a key. All right, save one more time. And I'm gonna go here. So now we want this leg here to be fully rotated like this, more or less. I'm gonna uh, Remove this value, remove this one. Um, this is going to be on zero, and we want it to be here. See, like how the uh, there, there is a gap between these two feet, right? And so, again, one more time, delete this. Right? Go here. And again, we can fully rotate this one now. See a foot roll. Gonna take a look at my drawing again. Boom. Now, with this one, we want him to be here. 
Nej. Boom, boom. Okay, we can push it. A little bit of rotation here. And uh, let's push it up. Okay, we'll continue to have a bit of foot throw. See, when you add the foot roll, actually change the angle of, of your leg, right? Ch change those balance. Um, and maybe this is slightly like this. Right? And, and so this one. Obviously, you want to do it like this. Right, if we want to do this one. Right, and we want obviously adjust the shoulder. And first of all, we are, you know we want to center like here. Right, we want to be more center now. Okay, we want to. Okay, adjust it here. And again, maybe a little bit more here. Push this up. Okay, right here. Maybe we push a little bit much okay a little bit and more like this and this one we want him to be here right okay. Pushing it a bit here, pushing it this, and I feel like this one is to stay a bit um, like this. Yeah, exactly. I don't feel like that. Let me go back here and double check. Yeah, you want to see a bit of the elbow and everything, right? Maybe this one a bit up. This one I wanna I wanna go directly here to the final pose at this point, okay? Because this is an overshoot as you can see, so I'm more interested to the to the final pose right now. And and as you can see, it continue to uh, you know go down and forward, all right? Doing like this, moving. But mostly, uh, it's important to see the chest now visible. Okay, see the chest like this, right? Uh, and you wanna do this? You wanna push this up? Uh, maybe a bit too much. All right. And so we can go in gimbal. Right, we can go here, we can adjust the shoulder. Right. Make sure this is fully stretched. All right. And zoom in here. So we're gonna push this a bit, but then we need to adjust a little bit this word.
right and we go we can take a look if there is anything happening in the feed yes the feed look like this one is going opening up like this this one is still a bit more here a bit more of food throw it look like it okay it's really hard to see uh, exactly what is going on And if you wanna push, uh, first of all, again, let me let me go back here and, and take a look at the center. Okay, this one we can push it this way, right? And this one we're gonna keep pushing it forward. Okay, so this is going down actually. here yep boom all right maybe we can see a little bit of his face and then we should adjust the eyes but you know the eyes are, are mostly interesting as you guys know in body mechanics here we can push the angle of the spine I'll adjust a little bit don't do anything too crazy okay Maybe with this one a bit in this case, or a bit with this. Right? I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do too much. Maybe actually not here. It doesn't really look good. So we just need to adjust with this. Boom. Right. And now that this is done, uh, I just want to copy paste. Oh, sorry. Before I forgot, this one needs to be this way. It needs to continue the line of action of the of the of the sword. So you want to make sure you. You're adjusting this here. And close any kind of gap that we can see. Right. Want to make sure it feels nice and good. Right. Yeah. yeah, something like that. All right. So now we've done this one and we're gonna copy this frame at frame uh, 36. Right, and we're gonna do the overshoot. Oh sorry, that's not what's been. So let me try to do this. This and here. All right, there you go. So it looks like to me that this one is slightly going back. Okay, and then here forward and higher. Okay, so we can start to exaggerate a bit more. Then here also, it looks like we are rotating more um, this direction okay, we are opening more the chest right uh, also we are pushing the shoulder here more up this one then looks tend to be uh, higher right it's gonna kind of go in this direction Maybe a little bit of overshoot here as well. This one seems to be slightly low. Okay. Here a bit of foot roll we can have. And here we can reduce it, right? here again on this one over here just pushing behind oh and here is look like it's gonna straight right 
Makes sense? As you can see guys, as a little bit more than 30 minutes, 30, 35, 36, something like that, we managed to do the, the full blocking, okay? I think this will be uh, more than enough and for these six, seven key poses. And you know, usually that's my, my speed when I work, especially if I have a, a, a good reference or something like that, or if I do my own reference. And so again, I wanna keep really track of the timing for each phases and then combine at the end and see how long it should take to make a really nice animation like this, really polished or really good. And so again, guys, if you have any question or something, let me know and see you next time. Ciao guys.